Hey, yeah, welcome back. I'm out at last. It's been absolutely ages since I've managed to get my kayak wet. Uh, July and August this year so far have been a nightmare for the weather, but we're here. We're at Beadnell. Uh, the forecast's good for the rest of the day as well. Fingers crossed it stays that way. It's high water. Tide's going to start ebbing in about half an hour. So what I'm going to do is set up somewhere between the Newton Boy and Beadnell Point. We'll ride that ebb north, see where we end up. I've got the soft plastics on, see if we can't catch a cod, a pollock, and maybe a ras. I'll see you over there. So here we go, first drop of the day. Uh, it's quite pleasant out here. It's the first time in a long time I've been able to say that because, uh, as I say, the weather has been atrocious. We've got 25 gram sidewinder on there. I'm going to stick a little bit of the stink on and uh, see if we can't catch ourselves that first fish of the day. Mm, fruity, that one. Right, here we'll go. Ooh, some of it was having a little touch. Oh, there's something having a little nibble. Yes, we got it. <laughs> I thought something was having a little go. Feels quite scatty. I hope it's a rasp, but I think it might be a codlin. Let's get it up and have a look at it anyway. It is indeed a codlin. A little beauty. There you go. First fish of the day. Eh? That's the blank off. It's always a good way to start on the first drift. There we go. See you later, pal. What's he done to me, Lua? He's wrecked that. One fish. Right. That's good for a good for a few more drops yet. Let's get down there, see if we can't get his big brother. Something else having a little shot. Got it! <laughs> Came back for another go. Well, this is a good start, isn't it? I'm not really over the ground I would normally fish as well, so I'm going to class these all as bonus fish. Another lovely red codlin. Nothing to write home about, but I'm very happy to see him. Look at him in this beautiful morning sunshine. He looks absolutely gorgeous. See you later, pal. It's a good start, isn't it? Right, let's get down there, grab a couple more. Yes! <laughs> Brilliant. That's three fish on this first drift, that's good. Feels like it's going to be another codlin. What am I in? I'm in 20 metres of water, so it's not shallow. There he is. It's gone in one side and out the other, but we'll we'll get you there, mate. There he is. Beautiful little chap. Could maybe do with it being a, a tiny bit bigger the next one. Information broadcast to the north of Amble in the Tees Bay. Yes! <laughs> oh, this feels all right. I wonder if this is a ras. I'll take me time just in case, because your ras doesn't like coming up from the depths. Probably just a codling like, but could be a ras. I mean, I'll stop guessing and we'll just get it up and have a look, eh? That's probably the best bet. Or is it a Pollock? Hey, I wasn't sure. I knew it wasn't a codlin. 
Or I hoped it wasn't, because we've had plenty of them. But look at that. He's all right, isn't he? Let's uh, get this unhooked. And I'll give you a look. And there he is. It's not bad, is it? Hey, we've had a good start so far, haven't we? All on the uh, 25 gram sidewinder there in orange. I don't think colours make a huge amount of difference in lures. I think confidence makes more difference than the colours. However, anything on that sort of red spectrum, you know, your oranges, your pinks, that sort of stuff, I think that does have a slight edge. It's to do with the frequency of the light and uh, how it sort of disappears at certain depths, you know, and I think that presents a very definite outline for the fish. Yes! It's just messing around with that when something came and grabbed it. <laughs> I hope it's a ras. Well, I said that last time and it was a pollock. But, uh Well, let's just get it up and have a look, eh? What have we got? A ras. Oh, get in. A beautiful ballon. Easy tiger. Right, let's uh, let's get him up. Let's be nice and gentle with him because he's got a little bit of uh, stuff going on there. There he is. What a beautiful lad. It's popping back in because they don't like coming up from the deep. See you, buddy. To be gentle with him there because he was uh, swelling up ever so slightly from coming up from the depths because we're in 20 metres of water. Rats don't like coming up vertically, you see. They don't mind coming up. Like from the shore, you're probably going to be all right, even in this depth of water because the angle you're bringing them up at, it's much more gentle. But when you're fishing vertically like this, You've got to be careful with them. Yes! <laughs> Brilliant. Probably smacked it, that. I was just thinking about putting the metal on, but uh, I think we'll stick with this for now. Let's take our time, because we're in 20 metres of water. See what we've got. Hey, the visibility's great today. You can see it coming up, it's a codlin. Fantastic. So we're still catching at slack water. That's the good news. There he is. Hopefully the sun isn't on the lens then, you can still see us. Let's get him out. Let's get him off, I should see. We'll have a look at him. And we'll put him back. See you, pal. Let's fix me to her. Yes! <laughs> it's been a little while. I'm going to take my time with this fella. Because he feels a little bit scatty. No, I think it's uh, I think it's a codlin. Let's get it up and have a look. Yeah. Codlin. Not a bad one. Fantastic. There we go. It's been a little while. It's been about 20 minutes since we had a fish, so I'm very pleased to see it. Whoa. And there he is. He's an angry little chap. We'll get him straight away. I still think there might be one or two fish left in this lure. Just, just, just one or two fish. We'll, uh, we'll cast out again. Tell you what, I'll turn the kayak around so you're not, so you don't get have the sun in your eyes. But it's absolutely beautiful out here today. The water's crystal clear. There's fish everywhere. I am still drifting 
south ever so slightly with the very last of that um, flood tide, but there'll not be much of it now. It should just turn around in about 10 or 15 minutes, I think. So we'll probably hang out here for a little bit longer and then we'll, uh, we'll take a pedal south in anticipation of the uh, ebb tide. Oh, we're in! <laughs> I didn't even feel that, I just lifted the rod into it and there it was. Oh, hey! It's not that keen on coming up here. We'll take our time because we're in quite deep water. It was quite jerky. Probably just a very spirited codlin. The depth of the water quite often makes them feel pretty big. Let's get it up and have a look at it. That's the only way to find out, isn't it? It's not doing an awful lot now, which makes me think it might be a wrasse, so I am going to take my time. What is it? Let's have a look. Nice and slowly. It's a wrasse, so I'm right to take me time. I'll just let it hover there for a moment. Let some of the air get out of it, because it's quite a beaut. Look at it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It's a bit of a beastie. It's, uh... nice. Just going to let him depressurise for a bit, because I can see he's having a little bit of a prolapse there on his way up. So I don't really want to put him through any more stress, if you can see that. I certainly don't want that to burst. So what I'll do is I'll probably try and unhook them just at the side of the kayak here. I'll just let you have a quick look at him, but I'll try not to put my hands on him. He's a big lad, isn't he? But as you can see there, he's starting to uh, swell up a little bit with the... Uh... Ow! I don't want the... Uh... There you go, buddy. He's nearly gone. Get this last bit out. Watch me fingers on them teeth, mind, because they're quite sharp. There he is. Right, I'll just turn him around. Get yourself away, buddy. We'll just take a moment, and he's off. Yeah, straight down. You can see it actually shrink as he goes down. Fantastic. Like I say, you've got to be careful with the wrasse, especially when you're in the deeper water. Yes! <laughs> We're in! So I'm a little bit nervous now after the uh, wrasse we've been pulling up from this depth because obviously I want to give them a fighting chance of getting back down so we'll take our time with it. Plenty of time. It's no rush, you're not going anywhere are you? It's probably a codlin like, we're going through all of this. And it's probably just a codlin. Could be a wrasse though, it's got that sort of bang bang sort of feel to it what is it it is a pouton you would felt a little bit different there we go a chunky old chap isn't he look at him gosh he's got uh, something going on with his eyes there I'm not sure what that is it's not to do with the depth but looks like he's been in a bit of a battle at some point in his life anyway let's get him unhooked and we'll get him away he's quite underweight this fish as well so I'm not in the best of Nick are you pal sorry for the inconvenience we'll get you straight back down look at him oh dear a bit scabby that lad right so I've come quite a bit further south quite a bit further in. The tide is still moving south ever so slightly, but that that tends to happen here at Beadnell for quite a while after low water. Uh, the tide will still run in the same direction, but it should turn around any minute now. So I'm kind of in the middle of the drift I want to do. So I'll get the second half of it when it turns around and then I can go back at the beginning. Yes, got it. <laughs> It was right at the top. 
of me stroke there, so I couldn't really connect with it. What is it? There's certainly plenty of fish around today, isn't there? It's another codlin. Absolutely shed loads of these around today. As I say, we could do with them being a little bit bigger, but uh, I was going to say I'm not complaining, but I suppose I am. In a way. There we go. Let's get him back. See you, buddy. Come on, let's get your big brother. Yeah. Got it. Put me bail on, won't go over. <laughs> Putting a bend in as well. Couldn't get me bail arm shut there because my finger was stuck in the back of it. What have we got? What are we in? 16 metres of water. Let's have a look. Hopefully we might get some bigger fish now this tide started to run. That's all right. That'll do. They're getting a bit bigger. Just uh, hold your horses, mate. There he is. He's all right, isn't he? A few more of those. Right, let's uh, find out where this hook is. There it is. And it's out. It's... Oh, sharp teeth in this fella. There he is. Oh, bit angry, isn't he? Let's put him back. And he's gone. Oh, he's cut me finger. Little twerp. Right, I am going to reset this drift because there's no interest in ground from here for about 400 yards. So I'll go and get myself a little bit closer to the Newton boy. I'll park myself up on that ground in between and uh, we'll get a proper drift in, eh? See you over there. Right, so we'll have a quick gear rundown as we're heading off over there. So, uh, as usual, I've got the... Um, Saltwater Spin by IMAX, it's, it's branded damn how much they've got to do with the making of it, I've got no idea. But uh, it's 7 foot 4 inches long and it's rated for 40 grams. I've really enjoyed using it to be fair and they're cheap enough as well. Uh, on this I've got uh, a Penn Spin Fisher Mark 6, it's a 3,500 size. The braid, I think, I can't remember exactly what it is I've put on. Uh, it's a little bit heavier than I would normally use. I think it's Berkeley 9 strand braid and I think it's in 20 pound test. I'll pop that up on the screen there just to be sure. Uh, at the business end, we've got about four and a half foot of 20 pound fluorocarbon attached via a barrel swivel and a Palomar knot to the main line. And uh, at the business end, we've got a little 25 gram sidewinder. I'll see you over there. So we've put a canny pedal in there. Uh, we've set ourselves up for a really nice long drift over loads of lovely ground. I'm not too far, maybe 100 yards away from the Newton boy there. We'll, uh, we'll get a bit of the stink on. We'll get down there. See if we can catch a few fish on this ebb tide as we drift north. It's absolutely beautiful out here today. Oh, I needed a day like this. Last few trips out have always been fighting the elements because, uh, as I'm sure you're aware, we haven't really had much of a summer, have we? Oh, we're in! <laughs> I wasn't concentrating there and I thought I'd bottomed out but in fact I had picked the fish up I wonder what it is let's get it up and have a look at it feels quite scatty it is a little pollock brilliant well there you go that's a little bonus there. So that's a few pollock we've had today. Get him back down. See you, pal. Oh, I'm pleased about that. Haven't had many pollock here at Beedenal this year. So I'm glad there's a few around today. Up oh, straight in. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, this feels all right. Let's get this up and have a look at it. Thank you. 
That radio needs to shut up. Shut up. Sorry about that. Hey, I think this is going to be a nice codling, you know. Possibly even a cod. Let's get it up and have a look at it. Fish of the day this for sure. Well, if we get it to the surface, that is. Brilliant. Oh, yes. <laughs> what an absolute beaut. Oh, brilliant. I was hoping that the ebb tide would bring a few of the bigger fish on. And that's what's happened, isn't it? Right, I'm going to have to give myself a bit of slack. Put my rod in the holder over here. Because he swallowed that quite deep down. So I'm going to make sure that I get him away. Right. To get the uh, forceps onto that. Right. Get me specs on as well. Give him the best chance. Let's have a look. If I can find the hook. There we go. That wasn't too hard, was it? No, we're not quite out. But we're not far. If you just hold your horses, pal. There we go. There we go. No damage. He's not bleeding. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you a look at him. And then we'll get him straight back. What an absolute beaut, eh? What a lovely fish. See you, pal. Oh, and he's off. Get in. Right, what a mess I've got to tidy up here. But worth it to get him back. Yes! <laughs> Took us on the drop, that. Quite scatty. I've said that a few times today, haven't I? What am I in? 18 metres of water, so we're not that deep. So I don't have to go too slow in case it's a wrasse, but I think it might just be a little coddling. Where is it? Can't see it now because there's a little bit of a ripple on the water. Yep, little coddling. Get in. Well, he liked the peach and the pepper spray, didn't he? Point the dangerous end away from us. There he is, and he's off. Come on, let's have another big one. Do you know what I would like? I would like a decent pollock. So we've had a couple of pollock today, but I would like a decent one, because it's been a while since Beadnell's chucked a five pound plus pollock up, for me anyway. Straight in. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? It's putting a bend in. Hey, we're having a good day. Feeling a little bit bigger as well. Fantastic. There's so many fish around today, it's non-stop, isn't it? Where is it? Here it comes. It's coming up backwards. Still a nice looking fish though. I'd uh, happily catch these all day. It's got a massive head on him. Ow. He definitely liked the uh, smell of the pepper. Look at that. Big fat belly on him. Right, we'll get the dangerous end pointed away, as usual. Get this hook out. And then uh, I'll give you a quick look. Ow. Ow. There you are. Little fatty. It was coming up backwards, so uh, it's putting quite a bend in the rod. He got himself wrapped up. Right. Another one of those would be nice. Yes. Get in. Took us on the drop there. Hey, we've had some fish out today, haven't we? I'm not going to be able to put all of these in. The video would be about two hours long if I did. 
Let's get it up and have a look at it. Feels like a half decent codlin. Get in. Look at that. Size of the belly on him. Oh, he's knacked the lure though. He's knacked at me lure, hasn't he? There we are. Little fat lad. I might have to stick a little bit of super glue on that. Yes! <laughs> this is pretty uh, spirited, whatever it is. Wonder if it's coming up backwards. Feels like a codlin, but I'm not getting much fight out of it right now, so I wonder if it's just wrapped up. Yeah, I think it's just unraveled itself there. Nice though. Lovely. Look at that. The average size has definitely got better since the tide turned. Well, bit of fish juggling for you there. Right, so we're at the other end of that drift again now. Not quite where we started last time. But uh, I'm in 16 metres of water and maybe 200, and 200 yards away from the Newton boy. We're just going to drift back along towards the point. We'll see how we do. This might be the last drift. Might not if we start catching loads of massive fish. But uh, it might be. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. We can't really miss today, can we? Another codlin just on the depth change there. Here he is. It's in the corner of the lip as well, so it should be quite easy to get out. To get away, I should say. Nice and calm, mate. Oh, he's left us a message. It's only a matter of time, like. <laughs> what a mess you've made. You dirty little duck. Oh, jeez. Well, we'd kind of got away with it up until then, hadn't we? One of the joys of cod fishing. Oh, we're in. <laughs> I think that must have been on for ages. I was just letting line out go, and this is weird. I should have hit the button by now. Maybe I'm getting a little bit tired. Maybe this should be the last drift. It was an early start. Half past four. Heard the milkman arrive and thought I might as well get up. It's just a little chap. There he is. We've had loads of these today. I won't be able to put them all in the video, like, because as I say, it would be uh, hours long. I'm going to squash the barb down on this. Because I've got an issue with unhooking these fish, so that barb must have popped up an awful lot. So, he's unharmed, we'll put him back, but I will give that barb a little squash. Got some D-barb pliers in here. We'll just uh, take the edge off that. Yes! That's smacked as that. Oh, he's putting a bit of a bend in. Oh, I wonder if it's a pollock. I'm not sure. Oh gosh, he doesn't want to come up. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> Get in. Oh, hey, this feels all right, doesn't it? Let's get it up. Where are we? Can't see it on the sounder. It's giving us a sore arm. Can't see it yet. Oh, hey, this is nice. <laughs> oh, my word. Very, very lightly hooked. 
Um, okay, mate, just... Uh, whoa! Look at that! <laughs> what an absolute beast. I give myself a little bit of slack. Goodness me, the belly on it. Jeez Louise. Ow! Oh my goodness. Come on. Let's get the hook out. I've squashed the barb on it as well. Come on, buddy. There you are. Part one done. Stay still. You just cool your jets. We'll get you out. We'll get you away. Right, there he is. Part one done. And the hook is out. I'm just going to be absolutely sure I'm recording because uh, it's a nice fish. I'll give you a look at him. Look at that. What an absolute beaut. See you later, buddy. Hey, we've had a couple of chunks out today, haven't we? Loads of small fish. But we've also had a couple of lovely chunky codlin. Oh, he's absolutely knackered me lure. What a burk. Right, let's see if I can get this sorted. Right, so this is very definitely the final drift. The wind's picking up a little bit. It's going to make the drift a little bit more awkward. So we'll just have this for 10, 15 minutes over this lovely bit of rough ground and see if, uh, if we can't pick up a few more fish. And then we'll call it a day. Missed it. He's got that one. <laughs> it's literally a fish a drop, isn't it? It's putting a bit of a bend in. <laughs> Get in. I'm in quite shallow water, so if it's a ras, we should be all right. I think it might be a little pollock, you know. I'll get it up and have a look at it anyway. Could be wrong on all fronts, like. Nah, it's a pollock and it's not little. <laughs> Thing didn't even know it was hooked. That's what was going on there. Goodness me. Right, let's uh... get him in. Look at that. What an absolute beaut. He didn't realise he was hooked, this fella, till it was too late. Right, let's get this uh, lure out your gob. We'll show you the people and we'll put you back. There he is. So the sun's come out now, so I'm aware that the camera's set up for it being dark. So this might be a little bit too bright, but uh, what an absolute beaut. Oh, that's nice. We've had a few Pollock today, haven't we? See you, pal. Right, that's it. We're going to head in. Hey, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself today. We've had fish after fish after fish and the weather hasn't been too bad at all. It's getting a little bit chilly now that that wind's gone into the east, but uh, it's been a grand day all round. Uh, listen, do me a favour, would you? And subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I know we're bang on about it all the time on YouTube, but uh, that's only because it does make a massive difference to that pesky old YouTube algorithm. Another thing that really helps, of course, is a thumbs up. So if you've enjoyed it, please do give it one of those. And uh, if you want to ask us a question, say hello, suggest a venue, any anything at all please do that in the comments down below because i always reply and don't forget the channel still got a discount code at galaxy kayaks uk that's otd5 for five percent off everything that code should run till the end of the summer the end of 2023 and who knows maybe even beyond and of course when you do use it it does help the channel out a little bit as well i'll catch you next time